Hi everyone. We're back today with another RVing 101 series. Today we're going to talk dump stations. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty and dirty stuff of RVing. And this is the part that most people tend to worry and stress over the most. So we're going to show you the dump system on our unit and explain some of the features and how to actually use it and show you the hookup of a hose as well as the dumping of one of the tanks. Now we're just going to dump the gray water tank, not the black. You'll never want to dump the black unless you are hooked up to a tank. But a lot of people worry about this. So we thought we'd do a video to just show you the actual steps rather than describe it, actually show you the steps. Um, very easy. It's nothing like the movies. If something goes wrong, you don't have to worry about having a big explosion of poop. It's not like in the movie RV. It's far from it. That's great for movies. The systems are really straightforward. So what we're going to do is let's take a look at a couple of the components. Then I'm going to put the camera down and actually show you the hookup and the dumping of some fresh water. Okay? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to spin this around and we're going to show you here, this is what the typical dump connection looks like. You have a cap on the end, it's a three inch connection, and you're going to see two actual sets of uh, plumbing come to it. You're going to have this larger tube here, which is your toilet tank coming from your toilet tank and then you're going to have a thinner set of plumbing connections which is your gray water that's going to come your gray water collects your showers your sinks etc and then typically I'm going to see if I can give you a good look you're going to have a grab handle like this sometimes they're mounted right here on this part of the plumbing you know back here sometimes they're remote depending on how far it has to run and here you're going to notice I showed you a black handle and then here we actually have I'll get a little closer so you can see it we have a black and a gray handle and the handles do actually tell you which tank you're dumping now on most units you're going to have labels gray tank black tank and right underneath is where the handle is so you see gray you look straight down there's gray you see black, you look straight down, there's the black. Um, occasionally you'll see this happen. This unit, our Denali, has two gray tanks. You'll see gray and they've put a black handle on this one, but it is marked with gray. So you'll see those handles. Now, here we have this connection. You want to just see that you have that there. You want to make sure that these handles are always in the in position before you hook anything up. But having said that, let's actually connect and dump some fresh water. Uh, we had some fresh water, whoops, we had some fresh water in our tank. That way we can show you what it's like. And I'm going to apologize up front. You're going to see me, you may see part of my body, but you're not actually going to see my head because I've mounted the camera nice and low. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that these handles are in before you remove this cap. If you've rented a unit, you've borrowed a friend's unit, you're going to hook this up and you go to remove this cap and those valves are open, you may get a shock. You may find yourself with a mess that's going to happen because those valves are open and the only thing holding back the liquids is this cap. Now if these were open you push them close and they had been open what you're going to want to do is get a bucket or some sort of container and open this really slowly because you're going to have some liquid in there. Normally if you close your valves before you connect this you give it a couple of minutes to drain, you're not going to have any water here. So I'm going to remove the cap. They're usually very snug. You give it a counterclockwise turn and then that cap will pop off. 
and you'll notice just a little bit of clean water came out and I'll explain the sequence. Now normally you're going to want to wear some gloves. I always carry a few extra gloves. You know, here's a little pack of gloves in case um, I ever needed them. I know this has been drained a while ago. We, uh, we summarized, sorry, I wanted to say winterize out of habit. We summarized our unit, which means we um, sanitized the fresh water system. So of course, as we sanitized it, we also ran sinks, etc. So I know we drain this with clean water. Now, we've shown you the water connection here. Typically, now this is not the hose we use. This is a spare hose, nice new clean hose I wanted to use for the video. This is a very rudimentary hose. If you've rented a unit or you've recently purchased a unit, you're likely getting this. Um, nothing wrong with it, very basic, does everything you need it to do. But if you're gonna be camping for a while, you may want to invest in a higher quality hose. And we cover that in another video of our RV accessories. You're gonna notice it has two connections here. Basically what you do is you take this, fit it onto the end. There are some little um, nibs that stick out here. You're going to put your hose connection right onto the edge of the nibs. Give it a good turn. Make sure it is seated properly on those because if you don't, there's a lot of pressure at times if your tanks are fairly full. And if it's not seated properly, this will pop off and you'll have a mess. Now the sequence that you normally want to dump your RV is that you go to your black tank first, dump your black tank, pull that handle out, let the black tank empty. When you hear the water stop running, close the black tank, go over, pull the gray water tank, and empty that. The reason you should do it in that sequence is when you go to remove this hose, if you did the gray water last, which again, remember, is your sinks and your showers, it's soapy water rather than poop water. And if something happens, you happen to go to disconnect this, you drop it, uh, there's a little bit of extra liquid coming out, it's soapy water that you're dealing with rather than poopy water. Also, by doing the gray tank last, it is flushing out this part of the connection and your sewer hose. So when you put the sewer hose away, it's a lot cleaner. If you've had enough water in your gray tank, you normally don't have to rinse out your sewer hose. And little tip, never use your drinking water hose to rinse out your sewer hose. I've seen a few people do that. All you're asking for is your hose to be contaminated. That's your drinking water hose. And then you're gonna connect it to your RV and it's going to contaminate your water system. Now to give you an example, we're gonna reach over to our handle here for the gray water. I've just put that a little bit further over. We're gonna put it over there for now so we don't wet our camera. You're gonna pull the handle out and okay our gray tank here had nothing you're going to pull the handle out oh there we go sometimes you just got to give it a few seconds i don't know if you hear the water kind of running you'll hear a, sh a little sloshing the tank will empty when you're done push the handle back in that closes your valve i'm going to check our other gray water tank up here yeah, this forward one was empty, but basically you pull it out. You'll hear a little bit of water running. If it's really full, it'll come swooshing out. You can definitely tell the water's running. And when you're done, simply take it, close the valve, and it's all closed. Now, as I mentioned, give it a couple of minutes before you disconnect this. It just lets that little bit of your um, plumbing drain out depending where your gate valves are that's what we call these handles your gate valves if they're really close to the end you can give it almost no time 
if they're further away remotely mounted like our fifth wheel is you want to give it a little more time then you take your hose turn it counterclockwise now to take it off and you'll notice very little water here that's why i said basically give it a little bit of time and i wanted to show you what it was going to essentially be like but very easy to hook up and unhook there we go I hope you found this video helpful. If you like the video, please click the like button. Provide any comments that you have of this video or future videos that you'd like to see on any RV systems or parts, and we'll try to do our best to bring it to you. Click the subscribe button and the bell below, and you'll be notified of new videos that come available. Hope you found it helpful. Bruno from RVing TV, make sure you live life to the fullest. Take care.